In Homestead tonight, fire ravaged buildings are coming down. Inspectors say they're just too unstable following Friday's massive fire there. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Courtney Fisher is back in Homestead tonight to show us what's happening now. Courtney, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Shannon. The barricades have been taken down, and you can see 8th Avenue is back open. Traffic is moving, but take a look. That is what's left of the demolition that happened early this morning. You can see, still see quite a mess that needs cleaning up. As the fresh snow fell early Saturday morning, with it came two buildings on 8th Avenue. 24 hours earlier, fire and smoke tore through these five storefronts and nine apartments above. This man, 27 year old Edward McDonald, was taken away in handcuffs, admitting to our cameras he uh, set the fire. Yeah, I guess I did. 22 fire departments dispatched, two people rescued, $2 million in damage, one word for it all. This is devastating. When the unsteady walls were all torn down, people came out to see. Uh, why anybody would do this, I don't, I question their. Mentality. Some took pictures, others just stared. Friday, Stacy Kukla watched the smoke spiral into the sky and was reminded of another fire on this block not too long ago in her own apartment. You know, just coming down here to see this, just it, it brings back memories. I can still smell the smoke and, you know, just very traumatizing. I feel bad for, you know, everybody who lost everything. But know? beneath all that charred wood and snow covered debris, some see a fresh start for 8th Avenue. It's a shame to see this go to waste. Put something to revitalize the area in there. I'm sure there's money somewhere. Only time will tell. There's always good that comes out of something bad, and we just found out how much a lot of people love this town. The storefront you're looking at right now, Beauty Mark Incorporated, we're told that that building is the only one among these five storefronts that is salvageable. We talked to the owner. She says that she just bounced back from a fire that happened in 2013. She is still trying to figure out what she's going to do. Obviously, a long road ahead for her and many of these other business owners out here. Reporting live here in Homestead, Courtney Fisher, Pittsburgh, Section News 4.